Okay, so here's how I plan to use TikTok to organize my life in 2024. I have been searching for the all-in-one solution for all of my tracking and personal development needs over the past few weeks to get ready for the new year. And I have been using Streaks, Minimalist, and the default Apple Calendar over the past year to track pretty much everything. But it has been getting harder and harder to sustain this because it's quite cluttersome to just switch from one app to the other and keep up with all of the reminders and all of the calendar events and going back and forth. So I began the search for the app that is going to combine all of these features into one place. And I know it should have been one of the first places that I looked into, but I thought that TikTok is just a to-do app. I thought that it wouldn't have any other features, but then I remembered, oh yeah, it also had habit tracking. And when I installed it back like a week ago, I quickly discovered that it also featured a calendar and also a focus mode. So let's head over to TikTok and I will show you my four favorite features that I'm planning to use in 2024. Okay, so here we are in my TikTok, and if yours looks slightly different or you're just using it on your phone, you can always just head up to your profile picture, hit settings, and now customize it in the appearance tab. You can select different themes, like the regular one I think is pretty damn good, and also I was a big user of the regular dark mode, but I'm now trying to use some other themes, like going more into the light mode sort of stuff, so I will see how long that lasts. I have created my custom one right here with just a photo and some extra options that you can select as well. I just hit save and I've got this nice custom look over here. And that's pretty much everything that I want to cover over the settings. All of the other stuff is kind of personal and you just set it up like you like it. Okay, so let's close this and go back to the main view over here. And on the sides, you can see all of your different sections that you have available. We will start with the first one, which is tasks. And this is your basic to-do list. To edit a task, you simply write right here whatever you want to do like let's say take out the trash and trash sorry about that and now you can just press enter to add it automatically and it will add to your like kind of default setting right here which is for me it's today you can click on it and change the date over here and select one of the presets like for example today tomorrow or next week or next month then you can also select the time when this is supposed to happen let's say six o'clock and you can set a reminder when TikTok is going to remind you of that event and you can do multiple ones like let's say on time five minutes and 30 minutes early you can hit ok and also do a repeating task that means if you want to have kind of like a semi habit that you're going to do all the time like let's say weekly like let's say taking out the trash would happen weekly then you would just simply select weekly and as you can see it already highlighted the weekly part right here and when we look forward it also did it on all of the other weeks right there and if you expect the task to take quite a bit of time then you can click over to duration and actually set a time when it's starting and when it ends. So that's everything pretty much to do with adding a task. And also one more setting that you can do is give it a priority. That means you can choose a high, medium or low priority for this job. This will affect the color of the task. That means if I choose high priority and now hit enter, it will add it. And as you can see, it's this red rectangle right here and it differentiates it from all of the other tasks in my list. Okay, so once you have all of these tasks, and you don't really want to have them all in just one list, you can create separate lists to actually house these tasks based on the theme of the task. So here on the side, you have lists and you can quickly create a new list, give it a name, give it a color, and you can choose if it's just a regular task view or a cabana view and then also give it a folder. And a folder in TikTok is basically a list of lists. So when I hit cancel right here and I show you all of my lists and folders that I have created, as you can see down here, I have just regular lists, which is personal and work. And over here, I have folders. That means for example, for let's say health, I have this folder which has stretching, sleep, food, workouts, and cardio in it. And I put my tasks related to those lists into those lists. So hopefully you get that. Okay, so next up we have the calendar view. So we can head over to it and it works just like a regular calendar that every other app has. And you can quickly create tasks by just clicking and dragging and this will create a task. You can name it whatever and it will just stay on there and remind you when the time comes. But the special thing about TikTok's calendar and the feature that pretty much sold me on TikTok immediately is when you head over to these three dots up here and click 
click on Arrange Tasks. This is where the magic happens. It brings up a list of all of your tasks that are unscheduled and you can just click on it and drag it over to the calendar and put it into a time, which is amazing because you can just head over to your like task section over here and write down as many tasks as come to mind and then head over to the calendar and just arrange them into different times throughout the day so you can actually make them happen. So you can do all sorts of other stuff with a calendar. I'm sure if you used the calendar before, you know all of the stuff, like for example, changing views from like a day view, a week view, a month view. I usually just stick with the week for my Mac and on my iPhone, I usually have just the day view showing. Then then you can also just show the whole calendar here and you can see where your events are. But that's pretty much everything that you can do in the calendar tab. Next up, we are going to actually rearrange these a bit. And this is my focus tab. I really like this. I, I've never been really a Pomodoro or, or just a time blocking nerd that is going to time block every piece of the calendar to do different types of tasks. I was usually just a to do list guy. But as I tried and started using the whole Pomodoro focus method in TikTok, it really got me to do the things that I was supposed to do. If you don't know what the Pomodoro timer is, it's basically a time blocking technique where you work for 25 minutes and then take five minutes off. This might seem a bit off because you're taking a lot of breaks, but it stimulates your mind to the point that every time you just look at the clock, oh, how many minutes do I have remaining? Then you look at it and you always have like 20 minutes remaining and everyone can work for another 20 minutes because the break is pretty damn close. So this is why Pomodoro basically works. And you do four rotations of 25 and five. And then on the fourth one, you take a larger break, let's say 15 to 30 minutes. I have it sent to 15 minutes because I usually just do a little bit of eating or go for a walk or something like that to just clean my mind a bit. And during those shorter five minute breaks, I usually just do something less stimulating than the work itself. So when I come back to the work, I actually am happy to be in a place where I can work and it will be more fun than the thing that I was doing before. But let's say if you were, for example, scrolling your phone during those five minutes, then that scrollage is going to be more stimulating to your brain than the work itself. And the work is then going to feel a bit repetitive and just boring. But if you, for example, just stare at a freaking wall, then your brain is going to take the work as a reward and as something that is going to load it up with dopamine. So how do you actually use this? it's very simple. You can either start right here and just do a Pomodoro start and it will also count and do all of the statistics, which I absolutely love as a big nerd. Or you can head over to your calendar where you have all of your tasks, right click on it and click on start focus and start Pomo or start stopwatch. Stopwatch is basically there if you don't like the Pomodoro technique and it just doesn't work for you, then you can just start the stopwatch and it will do the exact same thing of tracking the time you're doing the activity for. That means if I start it, as you can see, it over opened up my calendar is in this kind of opaque view. And now I can see what I'm supposed to be doing and for how long I'm going to be doing it. And it will just do this little animation here and it will fill up over time. We can keep it running while record the rest of this video and we can look back at what I was supposed to be doing and what I'm doing right now. So let's go to the next section, which is habits. And this is one of my favorite habits app out there. Seriously, I didn't think that TikTok would be the app which I use to track my habits because there are a lot of apps on the app store that are generally just focused on the whole habit tracking mechanism. But TikTok just does it in a really nice, elegant way that is easy to follow. First and foremost, if you want to create a new habit, you hit this little plus right here and they have quite the limited selection in terms of icons or you can just use a letter or something right here. But you just name your habit. Let's say I wanted to do jumping jacks. I don't know if that's spelled correctly, but it's okay. Uh, you set the frequency, let's say every day because we are high achievers. 
uh, goal, achieve it all. And this is really nice that they let you choose if you want to achieve it all, which means that it's basically just a check mark or if you want to reach a certain goal. If you click on reach a certain goal, you can now choose one, a count per day. That means, let's say that I wanted to do three jumping jacks per day and I can also replace the count with jacks, for example, because I wanted to do 30 jacks. And when I click on it, it can do an automatic, which to be honest, I never set it to this. So I don't really know what it does, but I like to set it to manual so that every time I click it, let's say, okay, okay. And you can also plan it to a section of the day. As you can see right over here, I have my afternoon and night habits that I like to check in the afternoon and the night. And now when we go Okay, we create a new habit. This is called others because we didn't really select the time. And when I click on it, it will prompt me with a manual input. That means, oh, I did 20 jumping jacks. And as you can see, it completed the whole habit for today because I set only one jumping jack apparently. Didn't I set 30? I needed to reset it because I didn't put in the 20 as it reset with the manual input. So hit okay, okay, don't give it a section and hit okay. And now when we go to jumping jacks and actually Actually click on it. Now, when we enter, for example, I wanted to do 20, but let's say that I only did 10 by now. I hit enter, and as you can see, it does this little half empty or half full state. And here is my daily goal of jacks. That means 20 jacks, and I only did half today. And as I hover over it, it actually shows me how many that I did. Like, for example, on one of my real ones, let me delete this one really quickly. Like, I have a goal of doing 100 push-ups a day, but I pretty much never do 100. I always do a bit more because I set a goal for myself that I'm going to hit at least like 100 push-ups plus one extra each and every single day. And I was doing this for a month before I discovered TikTok. -Tick. So I'm already at like 130. And as you can see, see here on the 24th of December I did 134 then 135 137 apparently I skipped the day which is only good so this is the whole habit section in TikTok, -Tick, and I absolutely love it for this I love all of the statistics and everything that it gives you also if you want to take a look at your statistics a bit more closely like if you're a big nerd like me you can head over to your like tracking focus tab right here and over here on the free dots you can hit statistics and this will open up your browser with the TikTok -tick website and this will give you all of the statistics that you would ever need. Like, for example, all of the tasks that you completed, how productive in comparison to other people you are, uh, recent completion rates, habits, and it will also give you this nice analysis of all of your data that what you did. And I think it also has the focus rings right here, like what you, what are you focusing on today? And you can set it to different times, like for example, the whole month, the whole day, and see different dividers, see a heat map, which is really awesome. I'm super excited to see how this actually looks like after a whole year of using TikTok. -Tick. That's a really cool thing that you can do. And while we're back here in the focus tab, you can see that it has been running for six minutes and you can see this little bar right here that starts to create next to the actual thing that I'm supposed to be doing. So we can pause that and actually end it. And now it will record this session right here. From 427 to 433, I was doing nothing it says, but I can click on it and actually give it a task. And let's say that I was recording a video and now it will show up as a recording video at that specific time. And it will add to today's total. One thing that I mentioned at the start, which is the Eisenhower matrix, which I'm not really using right now, it's a way to simply prioritize your tasks uh, to these four different categories. If you're into self-improvement and stuff, you probably heard about this, but you want pretty much all of your tasks to be these upper two ones, which are urgent and important and not urgent and important because urgent and important is just the stuff that needs to get done and it's really important to get done. Unurgent and important, it's the things that you want to do and also are pretty important. All of your tasks that you you would be doing on a daily basis, let's say me recording these videos, these are not urgent, but are really important to me. So like, for example, when I say recording a video, I can throw it into right here. Then let's say the urgent and unimportant 
stuff is, for example, taking out the trash. It's not that important to really take out the trash, but it's urgent because like the guys who pick up the trash are going to come soon. And the non-urgent and unimportant stuff should be just like watching Netflix, for example. That's not urgent and not important. So you should be getting rid of all of the tasks that you got right here and throwing them into mainly these two up there and eliminating all of the trash that comes in there. But I don't use this myself, so maybe in a year I will have a better opinion on it. And the last little slide that we have right here is search, and you can basically search for a task. Like, let's say, take out the trash, just take, and it will find it right away. So if you liked everything that you saw about TikTok -Tik and you actually want to use it yourself, I highly recommend that you purchase the premium version because it adds the calendar and some of the nice customization features. Of course, this video isn't sponsored by TikTok -Tik in any way, shape, or form, so I'm gonna give you a golden nugget for you to save some money. First and foremost, don't buy it through the app store on your phone because that's the most expensive way. You can head over to the official TikTok website and actually buy it for just $36 compared to the $40 it would have cost you on your phone. And also if you're a student, you can apply for an educational discount and this will give you somewhere around 25% off. Yeah. So enjoy a 25% off educational discount and it will drop the price down to just $27, which is an absolute steal for a year subscription. So hopefully you enjoyed this whole productivity focused video and let me know if you want to see more of this stuff. This has been it for today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.